Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video I will explain how to solve an example of a signal flow graph to find the transfer function. So this is our uh, one of the ne uh, next example that is our example number 4. Previously I have ma uh, made two videos regarding the signal flow graph where we have solved this uh, this problem and in these steps I have explained uh, and in these problems, I have explained each and every steps of signal flow graphs using Mason's gain formula. So please watch this video. The link is given in the description. So uh, here is the, our next example where we have to find the transfer function of this signal flow graph. Now let us move towards the solution. Our step number one is always to find the forward path. So step number one to obtain total number of forward path. Now we know that forward path is a path which is uh, from input to output without repeating any point or any path. So simply if you move from RS to CS this is our forward path that is P1. Let it be P1. So and uh, this is the only path exist over here because all the arrows here you can see here that these arrows are in backward direction so each and every point will further repeat uh, be repeated if you move from these points so this is our uh, there is only one single forward path and its transfer function is uh, nothing but the multiplication of this so, so overall path gain is g1 g2 z3 g4 and z5 so this is our p1 now our step number two is to find total number of loops now let us let us move toward the next step that is single loops we have to find single loop now you can see here that loop is is a one where we have to start from one point and uh, we should move to the same point without repeating any path again so this is a path where we are moving in this direction and coming back so this is a, one of the single loop and uh, let it be l1 L1 will be equals to here G1 G2 multiplied by H1. The multiplication of these uh, paths are G1 and H, uh, G2 and H1. So G2 H1 is is loop gain. Now this is L1. Now let uh, is this be the another loop where you can start from this point and move to the same point by this path. So this is our L2 and its loop gain is G4 multiplied by H2. Similarly, this is our next loop that is G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, G7 and G8. You can start from this point and by this path you can come back. So this is the transfer uh, loop gain for the loop 3, L3. Now one more loop is there and this is nothing but this one that is you can move from this point like this h3 multiplied by g7 and therefore l4 will be equals to g7 multiplied by h3 so this is our loop number four this is our step number two and in step number three we have to find two loops pair so our step number three is to obtain total number of two non-touching loops so two non-touching loops now let us see here that this was our uh, L1 and L2 respectively and this L3 is actually touching to all loops therefore I am neglecting L3 here and we have to find total number of two non-touching loops so you can see here that this loop and this loop they are non-touching they are not touching to each other means they are not having any common point between them so this one and this one is there so L1 multiplied by L2 there so L12 let it be L12 here this 2 indicates the number of two pairs and this is the first loop therefore L12 is na uh, uh, named here and it is equals to G2H1 G4H2 that is multiplication of L1 and L2 and therefore it is equals to G4 G2 G4H1 H2 similarly this L1 and this is our L4. L1 and L4 are non-touching and therefore let it be L1 L22 
again this is second pair and this one is indicating the uh, two loops pair and therefore again we will have multiplication of this two that is g2 h1 multiplied by g7 h3 and therefore we will get its uh, loop gain like this now our next is l32 and it is nothing but the pair combination of l2 and l4 so let's take the multiplication of these two and it will be equals to g4 g7 h2 h3 and in this way we have found the two non-touching loops pair now let's move towards the step number three uh, step number four that is to obtain three non-touching loops pair now uh, these were our three non-touching loops and uh, this again this pair are not touching to each other so l1 multiplied by l2 multiplied by l4 if we done so we will get l13 there and its transfer function is this one again this one is indicating the first loop and this three is actually indicating the three non-touching loops pair so overall you will get this gain now this that was our step number four now to find four non-touching loop you can see easily see that this non-touching loop sorry this loop that is loop number two is touching to each and every loop therefore there will not be any four non-touching loops so step number five there are no four non-touching loops now step number six is to find the value of delta and the formula for delta is this one that is one minus single loops plus Two loops pair plus uh, minus three loops pair plus four loops pair etc so just put the values there we already got the values of l1 l2 l3 l4 l12 l22 l32 and l13 just put the values and uh, change the sign here this is negative sign and uh, all these terms are positive so all these uh, terms will become positive um, negative here and further uh, this is also a negative term and remaining terms will remain as it is and this is the value of delta so thus we have found the delta now our next step that is step number seven will be to find the value of delta one okay so delta why delta one is there because we are having only one forward path and therefore we have to find only delta one and its formula is uh, nothing but the uh, we have to find a loop which is not touching to this forward path now loop l1 l2 and l3 all are touching to forward path but l4 this loop is not touching to this forward path and therefore we get delta 1 is equals to 1 minus this that is the l4 and just put the values we will get 1 minus g7 h3 here now uh, our last step is to find the transfer function this is the formula for this that is p1 delta 1 divided by delta okay so we know the value of p1 we know the value of delta 1 we know the value of delta just put the values and we will get the transfer function like this so this is our final answer here okay so that was our uh, another example of a um, signal flow graph now let's solve one problem this is your practice problem uh, it is uh, again you have to find transfer function of this system by using mason's gain formula see here that this is a block diagram and you have to use the mason's gain formula means you have to solve it by signal flow graph method now the first duty is to convert this block diagram into signal flow graph now how to solve uh, how to convert this block diagram into signal flow graph so keep um, please watch this video which is flashing over here on the i button or see the link in the description because first you have to convert this block diagram into signal flow graph so if you have already seen this video just solve this problem if not just watch this video and convert this into signal flow graph and try to solve this problem for the signal flow graph and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you